In this video, I'm going to address people who are not libertarians or who don't um, match the libertarian ideology, uh, like us fellow former burners do match. I'm a left libertarian. Yes, I'm a libertarian, but I'm a left libertarian. Now, I'm going to use my glasses and cups from my kitchen to show you why libertarianism is not a bad thing. Currently, at the moment, this is our government. It's pretty big government, and it keeps piling up. Now, prior to our government getting this big, it was big. It was this big, but compared the two together, government's getting really big. Now, this is too much government invading programs on people's personal lives is really a bad thing. So we should reduce the corporate powers of the government, right? The corporate powers that, you know, control the NSA and control elections by having money invested in the elections, determining who wins the election, taking the power away from the people, right? Okay, so we get rid of this really big government, okay? Now we have, you know, a, still a big government, but a manageable one. But don't forget, government's getting so big, they could override the people's decisions and get super big again. Now, here's where libertarians fall, okay? We want a smaller government, but the question is how small? It differs upon different types of libertarians. Now, okay, big government, uh, big government and corrupted. We don't want this government. We, okay, so maybe... Some libertarians like myself, we might settle for, you know, a medium-sized government or maybe a small medium-sized government and all, all that that has, you know, the programs like the FDA and all that important programs that we need in this country. But now, okay, you have a big government next to a medium-sized government, okay? Now, you look at this and... It has a little more power than the medium-sized government. Why is this? Well, it's because when you give the government an itch, they take a yard. So they're taking more, they're starting to get, gain more power. Okay, so you get rid of the big government. Now you're left with a medium government. Now, once again, same situation. You give government an inch, and they take a yard. Okay, so you get rid of the medium government. Now you have a small government compared to a medium government. You take an inch, they take a yard. And you're left with a smaller government. This is the ideal goal for most libertarians, a smaller government. The size of this cup, a small government. Now, I'm a left libertarian, and I believe that sometimes... You have to cooperate with the government because you don't want to get sick. You don't want to get, you know, ground beef that has salmonella in it or food poisoning. No, of course not. So you need the FDA. Okay, so maybe we take the small and medium government. Okay? Uh, I could sell for this. It's small to medium-sized government. You know, there's some government programs in there that we need. Like, you know, uh, the FDA uh, that makes sure that prescription pills aren't the, ha don't have the wrong, you know, um, chemicals in it or the wrong, you know, uh, combinations of medicine in it so it doesn't kill people. Okay, so a small, medium government, I'm okay with it. However, though, like the saying goes, it differs upon libertarians. I could sell for this, but I don't want this big of a government. I don't want a big and corrupted government because that takes away the power of the people. If you compare a small to medium-sized government 
compared to this type of government, what do you really want? Do you want a government that controls you, that tells you what to say and not say online? You know, a government that tells you, oh, you can't fly even though there you, you have no jail time background because, oh, you just look, happen to look like a terrorist because you may be Arab. And they put you on the no-fly list. Do you want a government that tells you that you can't fly on a plane because you just happen to look Arab? Or do you want a government that gives you the power to elect the people that you want working to represent your state or you? Because I want this type of government. I don't want this type of government. I want to get rid of this government. And it's going to be a gradual process. It's like these... It's like these glasses here. This is the current state of government. Okay? We want to get rid of the, the money in politics and the, and the greed and the corruption. Okay, so we're left with this government. Okay, well, it's still a big government, so take away, you know... secret banks that the politicians may have in the United States, get rid of them, make them credit unions. Okay, now you're stuck with these options left. A medium government, a small medium, or a small government. That's your options left. When we get rid of the big government, we have a medium-sized government, which is still big, but manageably big. You have a small-slash-medium-sized government, which in itself is, you know, big, but still manageably big. And then you have a complete limited government without any programs to protect its people. No drone programs to bomb uh, confirmed terrorists. No... FDA to make sure the food that you're eating isn't contaminated. No social security, no background, no no help for the vets. This is why I say I could live with a small slash medium sized government because at least the vets will be taken care of. The people will have the power to vote who they want to. And, you know, the Democratic or Republican parties, as Dave Rubin put it, will be starved of their power. Um, we could elect libertarians into office. We could elect people who we want to be in office instead of us being told by CNN, Fox, MSNBC, uh, who to vote for. So that's my video on explaining uh, libertarianism to those who, quite frankly, don't agree with it. See ya.